Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Life Seated series. I'm your host, Color Strade. It's episode 10. Seer 2358. This is what our empire looks like. It's been a little time since I've touched this. Several days because um I've been busy playing Battletech. Which is really awesome. In fact, I think I'm going to make a video for it on this channel just to kind of show it off. Not as a playthrough or anything. <clears throat> but it should be kind of fun. So here is the Yapathi Horde. These clowns have gone up here and they have fleets of... Their big one there is 26,000. You can always expect them to have big fleets of around 25,000. They got some 18s, 18s. Um, our fleets look like this. 32, 32. We got two of them. So, and then up here, the bulky hive have a 9,000 fleet. That's not going to be enough to do anything about them. Up here on the Senate, it is in session. And let's see what the Guardian Angels at is currently. Diplomatic weight from fleet power, defense army morale, and army upkeep. D diplomatic weight from fleet power. Hmm, who has the strongest fleet? <clears throat> is there any way to just hover over these guys senate floor no kind of wish there was all right so let's go take a look at this let's do this the right way i suppose which would be to go to the victory screen and look and see two fallen empires we have our federations score economic strength tech strength it doesn't say our fleet power there hmm that's interesting. Okay, so I can't even find that out there. Um, hmm. Well, in this case, I think the thing to do is to oppose it. Because <laughs> I don't want... Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the focus on the Great Con. No, 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 no. Dang it. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, no. Senate floor. Focus on the Great Con. What's going on? Get me over here. How do I... How do I do this? I don't want to oppose this. Lauren recently voted on this. Oh, must wait 120 days to vote again. Oh, brother. Okay, so we got to be on the ball for that one. Jeez, that sucks. Didn't mean to do that. This is confusing to me. Because as soon as I open the screen, it makes it look like what they're voting on is the Guardian Angels Act. And you got to go to the Senate floor. This is... This feels like it could have been designed better to me. This is... If... Uh, it's just frustrating. I mean, and then it causes me to do something like this. I think I'm voting on this. Guardian's Angel, Angels Act, and I flip it over here, and I don't pay attention to this, and bingo. And now i got to wait 120 days to change my vote. Uh, see, my thought is, as soon as you click on this, and it says the Senate is in section, it should show you what's... This, right over here, should be up here. It's at the top of the queue. It's being voted on right now. This is confusing. They need to fix that. That's just... Bad UI design is what that is. Alright, well, now we got we got Empire Sprawl problems. 12% is what it's costing our technology, so let's see if we can fix some of that. There's a person here that doesn't have a job. Do we have some other places that have jobs? Let's make them this planet. It's going to be bureaucracy and food. No, I? No, I is uh, refineries. We we're going to put refineries down on this planet. Okay. Uh, yeah, and every planet needs a stronghold too. Where's our bureaucratic planets? Oh, yeah. Our e human omnibus is making all this. We're going to want to send people here. So you can send some people to the e humanopolis. What you want to do here usually is just take a bunch of clerks. Then you can send them there. <clears throat> and then what happens is the person that was unemployed takes one of those jobs. 
This world has a bunch of jobs. It's a bunch of research here. Okay. Oh, let's put the research institute on it. This has unemployed pops and not enough housing. So let's get them the luxury residence and let's resettle a couple of their people as well. Let's just resell some clerks to the Ecumenopolis. We need to get as many people over there as we can. This planet was going to be research. So. Start getting that down. Consumer goods. Energy. Let's put the energy grid on there. Let's see. What about here? Food. Processing facilities. Great. Okay, so everybody's appropriately building for a while. What were we building here? Oh, trade hubs. Okay. Well. And we have 250 influence. Does that mean we can change our civics? Have, have we done that yet? Oh, we already did. Efficient bureaucracy. Okay. And technocracy and op growth from immigration. Okay. No more free points. So we did that. Mm -hmm. All right. What, were, what else was I going to build? I spent a little time watching the end of the last episode because it's been several days since I looked at this, but unaware of exactly what's going on. Do I have both these ships in this system? No, there's one over here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to grab that, but I know I'm building mega structures. Where are those mega structures? Oh, is that what you're waiting for right there? Is to build something? Lacking fit. Oh, we're still lacking. Okay. I really think up here in the UI somewhere they gotta show you your mega structures and the ones that you're building and the ones that are under that are done. The ones under construction and the ones that are finished. They so can just click on them or bring a drop down menu Research or something. Can tell you what systems they're in because it's. Energy weapons. Receiving transmission. Asked to ask to be their picture. We are too weak to survive on our own. The free boss pachu. Pachu. Yeah, I'm gonna decline. I will not protect you. I know. Here you got that Yapathi horde going on over here, but hold on. We gotta go back to here. Can we vote again? Must wait seven days to vote again. Okay, now we're going to vote for this. We're going to skew this in our favor and call in a favor to boost your diplomatic weight on this resolution. We're call in my favor. It's not much, but... Alright. There we go. Let's get it. Focus. So what does this... What does all wars with the galactic community will open borders to one another and mobilize for war? Great. That would be fantastic. Good. That's what I want to have happen. Robot modification point. Super califragilistic. Expialidocious. Let's make that happen. Fleets, where are you? You're down there. What do you have here? Let's take a look at our fleets. Titan class. Okay, cool. So it's got more titans. Well, in that case. Do that. And then, uh, these fleet. What about you? You don't have a Titan. Is anybody building a Titan class one? What are you building? Research nope. concluded. Okay, hold on. Interstellar assembly mega art installation. We need to get those off the board, but that administrative capacity would be really nice right now. Um, let's go look at this guy. He is 160 out of 180. He just doesn't have all the ships he needs. Because we're low on alloys, that's why. Okay. So. Do that. Wait for some more alloys. The, this rural world. Rural. That's always such a weird word for me. I never. Generator world. What do we got? The resolution has been passed. Alright, focus on the Great Con. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Now, 
What's going up next? The Guardian Angels Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. We're going to oppose that. I don't want to take a negative of that. We're going to oppose that. Buzzword standard diplomatic weight from economy will support. Military Readiness Act. Members that are not vassals of another empire that are using less than half their naval capacity are in breach of galactic law. And then they take penalties. That's actually a pretty cool one for when you're going to war because you can knock down their fleets and then they become a breach of galactic law and they start to take penalties from all these other different resolutions. Uh, we'll probably end up supporting that one. <clears throat> Repeal of the readied shield. The readied shield. What does that one do? Readied shield. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. No, we're not going to repeal that. Repeal the readied shield? No. Oops. Minor military sanctions empires have been announced. Yes, we'll support it because that's the whole plan. We're going to go to a war and then we're going to make people weak and then they're going to take, they're going to be in breach of galactic law and then they're going to take penalties and uh, repeal, 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 repeal. We'll do all these. So, resolutions. Is there anything we can propose that would be kind of cool? Rules of war. Hmm. Intermediate support, reverence for life. What is this? Purging, other than displacement and the use of world crackers, is banned. Yeah, I like that. We don't want to fight those kind of war. Armageddon, an indiscriminate bombardment. No, well, we might need that. The unrestricted wars philosophy is banned. No, 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 no. But I like this. Reverence for light. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Denouncement. There's nobody to denounce. And clicking on this does nothing. Okay. So our focus now, it says right there, defeat the great Khan. Reward is only 100 influence. Oh my goodness, really? Well. Defeat the great Khan. Okay, so if we come through this natural wormhole over here, we could actually kind of fight him there. I need another fleet, though. I mean, I got a 39k fleet and a 32k fleet. It's getting there. I'd like to have a third fleet. These guys, do they have another wormhole around here? They don't, do they? What's their fleet power like? They are the Yapathi. We can't tell from here. That's the problem. I think they're probably overpowering compared to me. <laughs> what is this? What are you doing? Assisting research. Where are you assisting research at? Right there. I want you to do some stuff for me. I want you to explore that natural room. Oh, since you got to go on the way, go there first and explore that one. I'm going to mobilize my fleets, but I need more of this stuff. Uh, let's go. We can buy some. Flat out because we have some money. Okay, what do we have here? The council election imminent. We're going to be in second place. Don't think trade price is too low because we just spent a bunch of money on something. That's fine. Oh, minerals. Let's sell a few more of those. We're buying these. We don't want to have to do that. Let's see if we can buy some more of these. Let's see if 120 a month. See how that works out. Who died? Scientists died in their ship. Okay. Oh, hey, perfect technology. This guy is research speed 10, but the the repeatables we're gonna want are all particles, so we might as well have a particle person in charge there. So now let's see technology. We have a spark of genius over here. This right there, Voidcraft, that's fine. Okay, you assist research right there. <clears throat> What's it going to cost? 87, that means I still don't have enough. Because it's, it's, when it says it's going to cost everything you have, that means you don't have enough. Um, Receiving transmission. What is this? Invite to Federation. Hegemon. 
Federation level four. Okay. Members cannot f freely leave the Federation without the president's approval. If the president refuses, the member Research gets the concluded. secession cast a spell to leave the Federation. They have the consolidated Zikmok nations and the Imitherian cartel. Who we're friends with and these guys. So where are they? They have what? They have one planet? And these guys have 14. They're the Imitherian cartel. Do I really want to join these guys? Imithar and Cartel, they're over here. I don't know. I'm going to decline. I'm going to go about it on my own for a while. Usually I join federations, but this time... Okay, he did that. Where does this one go? Way over here into... Not our space. Where? Right there to there, okay. Come here and tell me about this one. Unzun, but I haven't figured out what to do with this one. But I think it's pretty clear we need more bureaucratic worlds, don't we? Let's make this mining for now. That's what we chose. Mining world. Let's get the gene clinics on it. Let's get that. Upgraded. Let's get some more housing. What do we have over here? Consumer goods. And this planet is starting to get full. It's starting to get full. I can get a few more housing up there. I can turn off the gene clinics and I can replace them. Oh, with the galactic stock exchange. <laughs> so when we replace robots later, we'll put luxury housing on there to get a little bit more of this. A little bit more housing. This planet. Consumer goods. Yeah, we're... We need more. More is more. Okay. And research robot modification points. That's nice. Um, let's go to robo-modding. Take a look at our species. Fast robots and robot miners. Let's adjust your template. What can we add from you? You need from jobs. Well, mining doesn't give them any jobs. Pop housing usage would be great. I'm not so concerned about upkeep because we're going to make money. It's fine. Housing's better. They cram more people on the planet. More jobs. So let's apply that template to everybody who's a miner. So on the mining planet. Mining planet. Mining planet, that's what the M in the second slot is for, and then all other miners. Okay. Situation log update. Search that now. Let's go make a run through here, starting at Kuma Prime, every place that has robots. You should be making food robots. You're not. Make food robots, please. You should be making anything, really, will work. And you're making fast robots, that's probably a good choice. Uh, this planet should be making anything for robots, will probably work, and it's making fast robots, that's great. This planet's making robots, and ugh. Can we get rid of some of this? Yeah, it's working on it. Um, mining robots, maybe. Yeah. Make the good mining robots now. <clears throat> This planet should be making food robots. Farmers, yes. Farmers. This planet should be making mining robots. And they are. Good. This planet should be making mining robots. And it is. Mining robots. Yes, good. Okay, so it's Making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing here. And since there's not an easy way, another easy way to check this food robots here. Yes. Oh, and on these other ones, are they making the good miners or the bad miners? They're making the bad miners. You need to be making the good miners. So if you're making miners, make the make the brand new version. Make the upgraded version. Yes. All right. What are we making here? 
fast robots that'll work. That anything goes on here. So yep, yeah, if it is any species, we'll be moving those around as we get to them. Uh, fast robots here would work the best, probably. And also, we'll need to adjust those species. So that's all I'm going to do for right now, because we still need to adjust them. These could be food robots here. Farmers make the... Yep. So each time you adjust these, these should be miners. Make the good miners. You have to go in. Every time you adjust your robot species, you got to go in here and do this again. They should definitely be farmers. Yes, good. All right. This should definitely be miners, and it needs to be making the new ones. This should be miners. Make the new ones. The last planet here. Miners. Nope. Fast robots. All right, what do we have here? This is Galactic Council elections concluded, and we are number two. <coughs> Monthly trade price too high, too low. For, for buying this, I assume, because what? Our buy price is five, and the market now is sitting here at seven. So that's why it's not buying any, and that's fine. I don't want to, I don't want to jack that price up. If it falls below five, then we'll buy some. Unknown signal, a weak but insistent signal transmits on repeat in the Debex system. The ISS Marco Polo has pinpointed its source to emanating from within the mouth of a destabilized subspace rift at the system's edge. What could be on the other side? Perhaps we shall find out. Okay. So I take it that's a yeah, that's gonna be asteroid defense system. Let's see, limbo, second chance. Oh yeah. We'll research that. Impossible organism. Crystalline pacification. Alright. This guy's gonna go find that out for me. There are unemployed pops on this planet, which needs more jobs, and that's so that's easy. It needs more housing. More housing means more quick jobs. Which means that problem takes care of itself. So back down to our ships down here. You guys. Make ships. Where's this one go? Special project concluded. Where's it go? It goes oh to right there. So can you serve that system? Psionic entity. The ISS Marco Polo has encountered a massive being of pure energy. In the Tronde system. A veritable vortex of psionic forces. This entity should only be approached with the utmost caution. Baffingly, is that a word? Baffing, can I even say that? Baffingly? The Tronde system itself seems to be entirely devoid of any connection to the subspace hyperlane network. Whether this entity's presence has severed the system's hyperlane connections or if unexpected subspace fluctuations trapped it here is unknown. One matter is known, however. The repeating signal we first registered in the Dubbuck system appears to originate from Tronde 2 battle stations. Get out of there, gentlemen. Okay, so it's a giant psionic entity. Can't see him. It's a Tronde wormhole. Right. Well, good job there, dude. Uh, are there any other wormholes you can go explore on? Our map. There's one up here. Now that the whole board is open, you should uh, definitely take advantage of this to go finish any special projects since the whole entire board, whole entire galaxy is open. Also, do that one too. Because of this war. Um. Special project crystals pacified. All right, do we have, we almost have 300 influence, not quite. Start building the first thing that I want to build down here, which will be Special project the, the mega shipyard of the science nexus. Impossible fungoid. After recent breakthrough, the strange life form no longer a complete mystery. All right. Scientific community on Valorum Prime are abuzz with the news. The organism has been classified as a fungoid partially explaining its ability to absorb molecules for nutrition. It has grown immensely. 
now the size of a newborn Valorum Empire and appears both inquisitive and intelligent. Thankfully, it has thus far shown no signs of aggression. The scientists believe the next step to be attempts at communication, though it may be months before any progress is made in this front. Well, proceed. Let's see what happens. Um, you yeah, know, just waiting for influence to make that darn thing. <clears throat> Some of these worlds down here, like this, the Paraquim sector here. Um, this is I'm I'm gonna do something here. These are all gonna end up being bureaucracy planets because if you can get a bureaucracy governor over here it boosts their bureaucratic output so I'm going to make both of these planets I'm going to notate them for bureaucracy for admin buildings and this is going to be a bureaucratic sector and uh, we'll find ourselves sometimes you can find we don't have any bureaucratic buildings right now, so this is actually really good. Build cost minus 10, district cost minus 10, planet build speed plus 10%. Those are all great bonuses for these fudging planets, but when we get there, I don't think we have anybody like that right now, but we'll be able to recruit somebody over here, hopefully, that has, uh, it's like a 10% bonus to your admin capacity. So that would be fantastic. This shipyard is making Titan Battleship great. Do this, make the Titan last. Construction project concluded. It's the Star Trek theme song. Basically, see, if I had both my fleets going up, basically two fleets of 35 to 39 going up against a 17, 6 and a 17, I'd probably win. Now let's take a real good look here at what we have to counter. I think that they're just, yeah, they're balanced and they have a ton of kinetics. So, well, and see, they're balanced here. Armor damage and kinetics with some point defense. Okay, so that's their champion class ship, which is basically like a battleship. You can see shields, armor, hull points is a lot. That's their cruiser, their frigate. So, they're just kind of balanced with a little bit more armor than shields. So when we take a look at our fleets, more armor than shields is what they have. And their little raiders are more armor than shields, but they're floated out with kinetic weapons there. So if we take a look at our fleets, like the first fleet I need to get leaders for. We're doing lots of kinetic damage. And then we got these big bad boys, neutron launchers. Um, on our various battleships we have different kinds of battleships in here some of these we got some arcs we got all all three kinds we got the mega strictures the lances that's those are gonna be great those are probably hmm. well I'm gonna leave mine mixed the way it is right now I think mixed is gonna be good I like our chances. I like the way things are laid out. They're, they've got mostly a mixed fleet. Concluded. If I was going to do anything, it would be to probably remove a couple kinetic weapons and replace them with something that does more damage to armors and hulls, but I think we're going to be okay. This is where? Where is this? Acmail. Okay. Were we building a bastion there because we were afraid of these guys? The Silicon Manifold? I think that was the case, actually, yes. So, this is... Don't need to be doing that though, I'm wasting alloys. Yeah. This was not being done for that reason. This was being done for trade. So this right here, take this, change it into hangar base because they offer more trade protection. Actually upgrade that one. What happened? We got edicts expired, Senate is now in session. Okay, let's see, and then we gotta make sure to do all this Research stuff. Concluded. We go to war, or when we start fighting somebody, Titan hull hit points. Ooh, very nice. Crystal infused plating. What are we using right now? Because these are hull hit points. What's our best armor? Don't. What's our best armor? Neutron armor. Okay, hold on. 
So neutron armor at large is 870. Oh, it's better than the crystal infused plating. So because the large for this is 660. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, I think the thing to do is go after that then. Senate is in session. What are they doing? What are they voting on? Military readiness act. Yeah. We're on it. We already cast our vote ahead of time and said, hey, do that. Okay. This world. Oop. This is getting short on housing. We said we'd upgrade this. It's going to provide only a few more housing, but that's cool. We may have to take the Atakban monument off of it. Although I like we need to keep earning that this is not this is less of a big deal um this will probably be replaced with luxury residence so we can max out the jobs and housing on this planet oh no 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 we got robots we can turn that off by replacing it with luxury residence there we go. that'll work that's the way to do it miho okay Yeah, I think we're receiving transmission. They really want us in. Oh no, this is different now. Hold on, stop. Impossible fungoid. First words: the small fungoid has recently begun to vocalize. Its first words were get a little niviak, incoherent but ardently repeated. And so the scientists have proudly named the fungoid Nivlak. It's not niviak; it's Nivlak. That's sometimes what this font does on this particular thing. I'm surprised that. Paradox hasn't changed this font in all these years because it is troubling. Like, you can't tell. Is that... It's so hard to see between the I and the L. It's so small. And this is... A, I have a really good monitor, too. I don't have the best eyes in the world, but... Since then, its language has developed at a spectacular rate and is now able to successfully convey the seven primary emotions and does so often to its own spawn. It reproduces by spreading its spores as a matter of routine and the laboratory will soon be insufficient to house the fungoids. The Nivlac still has not shown any signs of aggression. Astonishing. Every Valoran Empire should have one. Oh, no. They should have a home of their own. The scientists will relocate the Nivlacs from the laboratory to a suitable planet of their own. It will be some time before we can expect an update. Great. Yeah, we don't want them as pets. The Free Bos Hachu Nation will form a federation with us. The Free and that's because they're materialist and they're materialist and militarist and hegemonic imperialists so hold on we are we are fanatic materialist and xenophile so form a federation This federation is leaning towards a technocracy wherein universal truth and unceasing progress are focused. I like that. We're going to join that federation. federation. A new federation. Let history record that on this day, the governments of the Free Bos Hachu Union and the Valorum signed a treaty, a federation. Its founding members of the Star Knowledge Partnership, they will now face the future as firm allies. This research cooperative. Will provide the scientists of all member states with new opportunities to pull their knowledge new era technological advancement has begun that's the kind of federation i want to be a part of perfect all right now in the meantime you guys are getting awful close to here which bothers me so uh this fleet is is ready to go they just need a leader so what i got i got sensor range ship hyperlane detection range and sublight speed i kind of want that even though i'd prefer to have ship hull hit points and ship weapon damage this is more important for a fleet um but this would be nice to have for the first fleet that's going to go there so i'm going to recruit that guy and then i also want this guy for the other fleet so i'm going to put him there i'm going to move my people to there this star base is not ours. We're just going to move our folks to here and to have a look-see. This trade hub down here. Alright, so on this trade route, we need the protection. And I would like to put much of it on here. So we're going to do 
two hangar bays, and then we're also going to do another one. We're going to put off-world trading company. Yep. And resource. Oh, there's a deep space black site. Oh, we'll put it on there because it's hovering over a plant. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Receiving transmission. The free boss Hutch talks. Hachu. Offer migration treaty. Yes, that'd be fine. Um, we have 300 influence now. So let's spend them. Down here, let's build a mega structure. And what do we want to build? What's it say? Lacking. Oh, well, let's go fix that. Um, now we have that. Okay. Now build mega structure so we can build a science nexus. Can it build around a star? Oh, we have to build it on a planet. Okay. Or we could build the mega shipyard. Because um, if you want to build it here, you could build science nexus site. I like the science nexus because I don't think it takes as long to. I could be wrong about this. I don't think it takes as long. See, it says 2,400 days. Is that is that what that thing right there says? Science nexus. I think this is time. Oh, I guess it. Yeah, the mega structure ship here it takes just as long. Okay, so I was wrong about that. And then there's a habitat. Alrighty then. Well, what would we prefer to build then? Must build around a star. Mega structure. What do I want to build? 1200, 1200, 1200. The framework, the core really want the mega structure the mega shipyard let's build it cannot build due to existing orbital station yes 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 okay you go away build we'll rebuild you later we've learned that trick build a mega structure i guess cannot build due to existing orbital station now you can you gotta let a day or two roll by there it goes he's gonna start building on that okay how is my other fleet doing? This thing is still kicking out ships. Yep, two more and then a Titan. Great. Um, while we're on that subject, we don't have Colossus installed yet, do we? We got Titan assembly yards. We don't have, yeah. Okay. And is it because we don't own that tech yet? Yeah, otherwise it would say there's an option in here, Colossus Technics. So, let's see. Because um, I don't like, I want to see something else. Build Titan. So we haven't, we haven't got the technology for a Juggernaut yet. Okay, that's what I was, that's the big thing I was looking for is I really want to get a Jug. The Jugs are, are awesome. I like them. I know people were thinking, I think people were thinking early on that they were going to be this really amazing Superstar Destroyer. But instead, they're uh, they're more like somebody said they're more like a mobile Death Star. Well, the Death Star was mobile. All right, one second. Here. All right, everyone, I'm back. <laughs> uh, as some of you know, I have two cats. One of them stays inside, and the other one goes in and out, and in and out, and in and out. And she just she comes over here. She stands next to my chair and stares at me. And if I don't let her out immediately. The scratchy meowing starts. She gets very persnickety about it, so <clears throat> I didn't want that to happen. So I thought the best thing would be to just pause the video for a second, let her out, and splice it together so you all don't have to experience that. This planet is undergoing this stellar culture shock. Um, and the, the majority of the people here are the Irisu, so we have to remember this. <clears throat> The Irisu are sitting here. Uh, we can set their rights. They're uh, decent conditions. I thought I was doing chemical bliss for them. Yes, I want chemical bliss for these guys. That way they're a little happier <clears throat> on this planet. So that way, because it's resources from job stability, and that helps fix some of that. But I thought there was another species. <clears throat> Excuse me, that we were also doing that too. So 
decent can it, do we have any other planets like that that's undergoing some kind of stellar culture shock i need to check because i thought we had two of them oh this little planet here this little system here hawkeye prime doesn't have a person to help it doesn't have a governor let's see what we can get clear blockers no leader lifespan though we'll take that <clears throat> So are there any other planets where we're experiencing that? I'm going to make a note then. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do that so that I know <coughs> that there's a culture shot going on. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that'll be enough to remind me by the time we get to the next episode. Let's try something like that. <coughs> Sorry about my throat, just, ugh, just sometimes things don't work right. Alright, what do we have here? We have plenty of food. I should be taking some of these younger planets like this, and they should all get this food decision. Like this planet, which has it on there, which is great. You're still young, you can get it. <coughs> get this consumer goods things back up you need the next thing here let's go well I'll tell you what strongholds on every planet gonna be just so critical <clears throat> to this enterprise of ours because we're, we're already now over our naval capacity we're taking a little bit of a hit you guys get you're young you get this decision if you're a young planet you get it that's just the way it needs to be you are a young planet you need this thing up here gene clinics and this decision what do we have here <coughs> habitability minerals from jobs that's why we want minerals instead of energy even though there's more energy districts because of a, a small bonus there and this one, same thing, he's got it on there. Good, okay. So this planet, what are we gonna do with you? You need more jobs. Well, let's tap out all the minerals right there. And then, <clears throat> your system has two research facilities in it, two research planets. So that's what we're gonna do with this planet. Let's put research on it. Now we need to first, let's get a stronghold down. Oh, moat harvesting traps. We gotta put that down first. <clears throat> I'm gonna do research mining. So on that planet, refineries are going to go on this planet. And since we're falling short on volta moats and rare crystals, let's make those a priority <clears throat> all right good god my throat it's just ugh. it's acting up okay this planet can actually do two things because it's got enough districts so we can tap something else out here so let's tap we're, we're doing really good with food <clears throat> we're gonna grab energy districts there on that planet this planet has needs a job for someone and raising this up and giving them clerks jobs won't do it I think culture workers count <coughs> so we'll do that all right and what is this place oh yeah that's that's the other one we were what it, what it, oh we're just doing trade from here oh I see we put hangar bays to protect up to like in the direction of four and then we said we were going to collect from two trades away we'll put the trade thing on it this putting this trade station on and grab that and that and it's going to send it right along here yep and <clears throat> it's going to go around the corner here and up to where we need to be all right cool okay well they have a bunch of fleets over here 9,000, 4,000, 17. So these guys being there can see that far, which is great. On the other side of this, what did we do? 
There is... <clears throat> yeah, we did that. Okay. We're gonna upgrade you. And then, uh, were one of these a shipyard? Nope. Nope, neither one is a shipyard, is it? Nope, they're trade protection. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be even more important to get me a juggernaut. Where's the closest shipyard? Hmm. I say that. Well, let's get some anchorage down and that'll help. Alright. We spent the influence. This guy's building, right? Building mega structure shipyard site. Let's check something else. We got master builders, mega structure build capacity plus one. So, <clears throat> as badly as I wanted a science nexus, uh, I need to start building that. Now, I can't build that in the same system as this, I don't think. Build a science lacking. Oh, let's fix that again. Yeah, let's go back and do this again. There. If I take you and I say, can I build you guys in the same system? I don't think so. Science Nexus. Oh, I can. Love to have you all in the same system. It'd be great. Construction project What's that? <laughs> it's, yeah. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to call that. We're going to have two mega structures in there. That's awesome. Okay, you here. Uh, yeah, everybody gets this first if they're young, because uh, we need this number to not be red anymore. We have the money for it, but I don't want to have to do that. Yes, we'd like to extend our deal. Stronghold. But this one. You are up here. You don't have a stronghold. So, you need one. Galactic Council Veto called. Silicon Monofold has called their Council Veto and failed the resolution buzzword standardization. standardization. Oh. Interesting. And the leader died. Governor Abdullah al Mubarak has died. On which planet? Valorum Prime. So, Valorum Prime has a mm, bunch of different stuff in here. Research will work if we want to recruit somebody. Or. Leader lifespan. See, <clears throat> the Kuma Prime sector, he needs to be there. He's the research guy. We don't have any other research people to me. Darn. Clear blocker costs. I don't care about that. I'm going to grab the food guy then. All right, food guy. This still needs another. Oh, do that too. Alrighty. Jeez. Construction project concluded. Great. So that looks like that. Super. Research concluded. Administration capacity. Um. Hmm, where are we at? 16 and 18 star bases. Naval capacity. Yes, please do that. Let's grab that. The Iku Monopolis, which says uh, that people aren't happy. Construction so I know. Um. So. <clears throat> Here's where things get a little difficult. I don't want to make this the priority. Decrease job priority. Jobs already at maximum possible priority. I don't. So if you do that. Can't, huh? I, I, what I'm gonna have to do is build a whole theater on here. I'd like to be able to specifically say some some of the people, I'd like to be able to send some people here and say, you need to be a clerk, because we need these. It's not going to work out that way, is it? Because we've got too many open jobs elsewhere. We're going to do this. And we're also going to say, Ecomonopolis Foundry. And then we're probably going to have to put down precinct houses to keep the crime down. What else? Anything? Probably another commercial zone, but we it doesn't need to go down right. Oh, I don't know. Talk down. Okay. Cool. This planet says consumer goods, but we say 
You don't have a stronghold, and every planet gets one. Everybody gets a heart plug here, Yui. Denis Villeneuve has been releasing the first screen captures, first still images from his Dune remake. And a lot of people are like, oh, they're so lackluster. And I'm just like, dude, it's it's Dune. Give it time. These are just... Every time Hollywood releases something early, people are like, oh, that's not very inspiring. It's like, uh, just wait. Okay, just, just wait. Jeez. Judge it before you even really know anything about it yet. Um, you have one stronghold on there. You have a galactic stock exchange, which is important in your ministry of production. And these last two slots we could save for one of each of the rare things. Secondary resources. Refineries, I guess would be the correct terminology. This receiving transmission asked to join federation you are spiritualist oh but you're egalitarian Construction project completed. agile user-centered solutions and result maximization are just some of the many things the Takashi trade union could bring to the star knowledge partnership is that a yes i definitely heard a yes <laughs> okay if we say that Vlorm votes yes what are these guys gonna do we're gonna vote yes what do they say did they say yes? Federation invitation. The Star Knowledge Partnership voted to invite them into the Federation. Great. So our Federation is now a little bit stronger. Nice. And what is this? Like, what's the one up there mean? I mean, we're voting on something. Is that what the little one meant? Or there's defeat the Great Khan. The Great Khan is a true crisis. Let's unite and defeat it. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm working on that. This is. What's being voted on here? Military readiness act, diplomatic weight from fleet power. Yes, please. Yep, okay. And our federation now has three members. Great, we have the economic power here. Level one, free and automatic research agreements. Well then, they voted to let them in and we let them in. So, there we go. Generator world. Oh, this is one of the research ones. Okay. Well, in that case, let's get a stronghold on this one. Let's get some things built out ahead of time for that one. <clears throat> if I had both my fleets, I'd feel a lot better about going after these guys. But look, there's a lot of... That's a lot of fleet power there. A lot of fleet power there. Where is my fleet? What are you doing? Are you done? You're not done yet, because the shipyard's waiting on what? The Titan? It's 567 days away. So, here's what I'm going to do. You're going to go up here, and you're also going to help hold the line at that place, because we can't. The Yuri Divine Confederation has been given associate status by the Zikmok Star Dominion. That's great. Yeah, this thing here. And this is just trade. Okay, so we off-world trading company. We're done with that. Oh, what happened? Republic of Yim was given association status. We didn't get a chance to vote on that. This planet. What is this doing? This is handling trade protection along this route. Okay. So that's why I like to label those, and I didn't. Um, hangar, anchorage, upgrade. Things with it. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is we just need to get up here and kind of like at least hold the line by this wormhole. We may not be able to wipe out too much of their fleet. We're going to need another fleet for that. But when we can get our alloys built up, we'll be able to start doing that. Okay, science ship. Where's this wormhole going? Oh, wow, that's convenient. Okay, is there another one? Me more. Research concluded. Alien vessels. I'm gonna pause it for a second. I wanna look at the map. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of L gates. There's a couple other gateways. What is Do I have anything on this map I need to go get uh, track all on map. Where are these at? 
can you go get this one? Yes, go do that. Now that the map is open up, there we go. Okay, repeatables for kinetic weapon damage. I'm not worried about that. What I'd like to get is... Well, hmm. Alloy nanoplants. That's the second upgrade for those. We don't really need that. Let's just get this off the board then. And there we are. We need two more jobs, but they need to be better jobs than what you... <laughs> Yeah, farmer. Wait a minute. Specialist unemployment. Why is a farmer a specialist? You can't stratum specialist demoting to worker. You can't. Mm, that's an. Oh, jeez, we haven't done this in a while. Let's end the episode with that. Okay, fast robots. Farmer. We are farmers. Dun, 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 dun. Pot housing. We're going to apply that template to all of the pre existing farmers on all the other planets. Also, if there's a farmer. Nope, those are all energy. Dun, 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 dun. Are there any of these planets? There's one there that should be a farmer. IF. Does it roll those four there that should be a farmer? Farmer there. That's what these F's are for farming, 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 farming. Situation Apply that template. Okay. This planet needs a capital. And also look. Okay, so this is Kuma Prime. Let's do that. Kuma Prime, we need to send some people there. Ministry of Production. Oh, and now we're running out of, uh, yeah, just the costing. All right, what do we have here? Domination and harmony. I okay, still am not we get capital brines, but yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's go through there and get over to harmony. I'd like to have some of this stuff governing ethics, attraction, stability. Uh, I kind of wish I would have gone for that. Research concluded. Naval capacity. Mega art installation. Um, let's get some of this quicker stuff out of the way. All right, we're gonna stop the episode here. Boink. Um, quite the episode. Um, thanks everyone for watching. As always, episode ten. Not a lot of action, just a lot of kind of inching our empire along. But the great con is is gonna be a conflict soon. So thanks for watching. As always, uh, thumbs up if you dig the video question or comment down below I try to respond to people I can and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching